tell me how you came up with this and I, I know that it's Wave Energy Extraction 2 and it spun off of your project last year. Can you recap last year's project real quick and bring us on up to speed with this one? Okay, basically what last year's project was is it used the up and down motion of waves um, to move um, uh, a bunch of magnets passing coils and um, that, that generated electricity. Um, there's a bunch of scientific laws that dictate that and I use that to my advantage. Um, whereas this year it's um, a system called the wave pump where as the waves move up and down, it moves this piston up and down and the water is pumped in from this side and moves out this side and as the water exits the system, it passes to a turbine where it generates electricity. Now I was first interested in this project for two reasons. First off, I'm kind of an eco-friendly guy, I kind of like to do my part, so I like to do an alternative energy topic. And my second thing was um, I like to build and tinker with things. Um, and so the prospect is something that I can build and test and tinker with um, while doing alternative energy topic was really too much for me to ignore, so that's why I decided to do this. And then I continued it into a second year project because I really enjoyed doing it. So. Okay. Um, can you pull that over here just a little bit? And can you explain to me, obviously that's a bunch of PVC. And you put that together when? Um, I did it in, um, over the summer. Um, okay. Basically, I came up with the general idea for it and then um, consulted um, one of my neighbors who's a retired engineer, uh, Mr. Springer, and he helped me kind of work out the kinks. And um, then I got the PVC pipe and glued it all together and it worked. So. Oh, it worked. How much did that uh, set up right there cost you? Because it does. It looks like just about anybody can do this. Um, it cost me about $150 for all the PVC pipe okay. and um, also the floats that were attached to this. And is there any practical use that you could use this for daily at this time? Um, and daily, well, just for generating electricity, that's one. But for the average person, really, there's not a whole lot of applications. Um, but you could, say, power a desalination plant with this and make fresh water out of the salt water that's pumping. So it's really good for um, commercial applications. How much electricity does it generate? Um, well, my little um, small-scale model um, and my best test, I had about 1.5 volts and 11 milliamps. Um, which is about the same of a, as a double A battery, um, but in a full scale um, uh, setup, we have a bunch of these all um, flowing through one turbine that was commercially produced. You could probably um, power a lot more than that. So. Okay, and you took, the, of course, you you won with this at the Magnolia ISD Science Fair, mm -hmm. and went on to the Houston show, mm -hmm. and that's called the Houston. Uh, the Science and Engineering Fair at Houston. Okay, and then you went from there and ultimately ended up here. What was the date that you went on to the International Fair and it was called the Ice Week? It was Ice Week competition. It was April 15th through 20th, um, uh, but the first and last days were for international students to arrive and leave. Um, so I was there for four days um, in the hotel room. The first day was set up and um, the field trips, then judging, then world so. Okay, can you walk us through your charts back here? Uh, is that okay? Mm -hmm. um, well, basically, um, these two chart, these two charts, um, basically show each of my different weights that I tested on my float um, through all of my six tests. This represents all the tests added together, um, showing the total amount of water that came out. Um, these two charts are for my different floats um, with the different um, uh, amounts of water that each one pumped out in each individual test. Um, this is um, what I called hand pumping, where I basically did the system by hand, was my control experiment. Um, and each, this is the average um, uh, amount of water that I got per pump, and then this is um, uh, after the end of the 30 second test. And then these are my electricity generation graphs, where I show how much power I got out of the system. So. Okay. Has anyone picked up on this, and uh, have you had any inquiries about making a larger model of this? I have not. Okay. Are you hopeful that will happen? Ah, uh, that would be cool, um, but I, I don't really expect that to happen. So. Okay. Where do you think you'll go with this? Will you expand on this project next year? Um, I haven't really decided yet. I have kicked around a few ideas of further expansion, um, such as testing um, different ways to improve this um, system's design, mm -hmm. um, but I might go a, a different path with a different topic. I'm not sure yet. So. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah.